everyone welcome to my channel this is my first time posting so if you are new of course everyone else is new kindly subscribe share like leave a comment and yeah what not so um i'm going to explain what i'm really here for basically i'm a makeup artist and yeah you know what makeup artists do so i'm a makeup artist i'm gonna be posting videos to do with uh, makeup um, I'm going to be posting videos to help you get past your eyebrow eyebrow processes. I'm going to help you um, learn how to apply your eyeshadow, how to contour, and everything that's involving oh, makeup. So today's topic is going to be on beginners. Like if you want to learn how to do makeup, what you need, and like you know everything in relation to beginners it doesn't necessarily have to mean you want to become a makeup artist to watch this video but anyone could watch it so stay tuned do stay tuned so um i'm gonna be reading from my book because i wrote short notes on yeah what i should talk about and, and also yeah, you know i'm literally hooking up you up with some real tea like i'm giving you the pencil for me i always test my eyebrow pencil when i find eyebrow pencil wherever i'm getting it from i always ensure that i test it on my hands and if it's dark i know it's the right one i don't like my eyebrows to be very light like you know very very light you no know? so yeah so um for that you can get eyebrow, eyebrow pencil is everywhere it's cheap it's five kwacha and then another thing is that don't use black eyebrow pencil on your eyebrows like if you're starting i don't recommend you to go with black because i don't know i know our eyebrows are black but it just looks very awkward and weird for you to be wearing black eyebrow pencil no so the best option you can go for is brown eyebrow pencil it's the best it's good it's it's just paints everything and yeah i feel like eyebrow pencil is easier than using um eyebrow pomade if you're a beginner because for eyebrow pencil you can fill in your brows like you can get the angles well you can do everything perfectly with eyebrow pencil but eyebrow pomade i don't recommend it for beginners of course if you are a professional or if you know how to get your way through makeup you can definitely use continue using eyebrow pomade for but for beginners you can just go for your eyebrow pencil yeah we're gonna start talk about eyeshadow like for a beginner i feel like it's not necessary for you to go and purchase a james charles palette you know a colorful palette i feel like all those things will just be overwhelming to you if you're a beginner so if you're a beginner you can buy like really small palettes They're, like there's palettes everywhere there's palettes at kulima tower when you're passing there's like makeup stores there you can check you can buy the smallest palette even the smallest palette for 15 kwacha you can buy it as opposed to you buying the huge huge palettes if you're starting i don't think it's really necessary for a beginner anyway but if you want to do it you can go ahead and do it like i'm not stopping you i'm just saying like i'm just saying you can just get something very small or something if you want to learn if if like you're trying to get your way through 
learning how to apply eyeshadow on you just need basically like four colors to practice you can use that every single day you guys every day and best believe every day but if you want to go all out and yeah you like things like you want to explore of course everyone is allowed to explore its makeup like you can do whatever you want to do you can um get yourself this palette the nubian palette by julius this is the best palette for rocking nude looks it's literally i'm so sorry it's done but like you see it has very nude light colored looks i don't know if you can see it but yeah this is the nubian by julius it's the most friendly palette and then my favorite by Juvia's is this one the masquerade palette because this one gives you uh, a standard choice you can pick like from everything like here it has variety it has brown it has um, gold it has bright colors so you can get yourself this or if you want to go all out I'm sorry literally handling my table you can get yourself the morphe palette i don't even know what number this is but you can get yourself this morphe palette as you can see it has amazing colors amazing soft colors for a beginner you can go ahead and get yourself these or yeah you can get yourself nubian nubian palettes are the best like juvia's thumbs up to juvia's they really accommodate everyone so you can go ahead and get yourself that i don't recommend a beginner to get a really colorful palette because you're just trying to learn and at the end of the day you just be overwhelmed with all the colors like like what am i supposed to do with this you end up like using orange green in your crease and you don't even know how to blend that out so if you're a beginner just make sure you you know get whatever you can yeah get so i forgot you guys have you seen this okay let me just try to turn it this is amazing like this palette looks so useless on the outside but best believe i used it to do my eyeshadow today and guess how much it is it's only 15 kwacha like literally 15 kwacha i didn't even buy it from any bougie store or something i just bought it in the streets like psh, like you know we're all just looking for pigmentation pigmentation is the key to the best palette that you can have so you know just hook yourself up with something cheap you don't necessarily need to have morphe the mac or whatever uh um, next we're gonna talk about lashes but i feel like as a beginner you don't really need lashes if you're like just starting to learn how to do makeup if you're just starting to get into it trust me lashes are not like a necessity like it's not necessary so just like nah let's let's next up we're going to talk about foundation i don't even know how to express myself but you don't really need to go to mac to buy foundation if you're a beginner like i feel like if you're learning how to do makeup go easy on yourself go easy on your budget like bruh it's necessary for you to go in like just take it easy stay in your bracket you don't necessarily need to go to mac or um what's that store color something color cafe is it by levy there's color cafe by levy you don't necessarily need to go to the big stores to have expensive foundation just to learn yeah so I'm gonna recommend I have this foundation it's called just be gorgeous it's the one I use every day I used it in this video too so yeah oh oh sorry I, <laughs> I used it today yeah so you can buy this foundation it's very affordable it only costs like about 57 kwacha or something yeah 57 kwacha but if you if you just want to explore and all you can also go for this LA girl la colors truly made you can buy it from shodo i always buy mine from shodo because i know they have authentic products yeah you can buy it from shodo it's just about i think 140 or something it's really mad so even if you put it on you're you're really assured that you're not gonna sweat but if you have the money ain't nobody stopping you you can definitely get yourself mac foundation or fit me but these two are very expensive like these two are expensive so you don't really need to go for that if you're a beginner honestly trust me you don't just like stick to your budget yeah so next up i'm gonna talk about a sponge a beauty blender a sponge so i don't recommend people to use makeup brushes when applying their foundation because they leave harsh lines like i don't even know how to i don't 
you are looking into something very good to apply your foundation you can go for a beauty blender i would i i have never recommended any of my friends or clients to use a a brush on your face because when you're applying um using a brush it leaves harsh lines because it 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 has threads i don't know what she, whatever this is but like you know what i mean yeah so get yourself a beauty blender a soft like when of course when you're buying it it will be very hard and small but once you get it put it in water and see if it if it expands like this if it does then definitely it's the best because you know you're able to spread all the products around your face and like you know it gives you just that great popping good look and if you're like me who also likes to be a bit extra you can get yourself a bit blender like this but this is for people who know how to go about their makeup i don't recommend such a beauty blender for beginners because this is yeah this is not, not for you yeah so next up we're gonna talk about concealer um i feel like my whole life of not my whole life but from the time i began to do makeup i've always used the pro concealer la girl pro concealer you guys this concealer is the best it's very affordable it's good it's everything la girl i don't know if you guys it's almost done it's running out but this is how it looks and it's very affordable i get mine from shador or i am the plug myself if you need anything concealer whatever just hit me up i'll hook you up with anything yeah and then at the same time you can use mac it's very good also it's just that i prefer um, this la girl because i'm so used to it and when i get attached to something it's really serious so this i i mostly use it to cut my crease and to fill in like yeah i just use it to cut my crease so yeah other people use the revolution concealer but i feel like the, the shade i have is very dark it's like c18 so i don't use it so i'm yet to try a lighter shade and i'll get back to you guys on that but for your concealer definitely go for la girl pro concealer it's the bomb and i use toffee or fawn yeah so i'm gonna put up a video i think next week on how to differentiate between fake concealer and original concealer just to get you guys you know updated with everything so back to the most important important thing brushes makeup brushes you guys this for me i use um this naked brush set i know like i have different types of brushes in here because i've mixed them all up but i feel like naked is the most affordable if you're in zambia of course if you're in zambia naked brushes are the most affordable except they don't really have um blending brushes so i get my blending brushes from oh yeah i am the plug so if you need some blending brushes you can come i will help you with that so like if you're learning how to do makeup you really need blending brushes like i have i don't know how many blending brushes i have i think i have like 10 or 8 because you know blending brushes are very important like it's they are so important because you use them to blend <laughs> you know yeah you use them to blend like you use them to to put your eyeshadow on and then you can if you have variety it's very easy and clean for your your makeup will really come out very very clean neat and you don't want to use um orange like today i used uh, orange and i come and dip this into yellow tomorrow and use it up it will just look messy and yeah very bad so you can always hook yourself up with blending brushes they're not the easiest thing to find but if you fail to find blending brushes just direct text me and i'm gonna help you get the blending brushes and then for your brows i always start with a spoolie i use a spoolie and oh i'm gonna make another video next week to do with eyebrows and all but for now just hook yourself up with brushes you don't necessarily need to order brushes online you guys you can just walk into mud i got my brushes from mud or sarah's i think something like that i think it depends on the size because this set i have is like i think 180 um, something but the smaller set is 120 and or you don't necessarily need to go to mud to buy a brush set worth 600 no sis 
Mm -mm. Just like live within your means. If you're starting, be sure to live within your means. I'm going to talk about highlight. For me, I feel like it's not really a big deal. Like highlighting my face is not a big deal, especially in the afternoon. People overdo it. Like Zambians everywhere overdo highlight, you guys. But anyway, it's preference. And at the end of the day, makeup is always your preference. It's always up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. So I feel highlight... I got myself this Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and it's lasted me for like two whole years and I barely use it to be honest. I know it's a bit dirty but I barely use it. I only use this. I think I only use this. Yeah and it's very it's very pigmented I tell you it's really good as you can see like it works really well and yeah you can always use highlight when you're going out at night you don't really have to put a lot of highlight on your face in the afternoon you just look like a walking dead or something yeah and then another thing is um setting spray or fixing spray i hooked myself up with this revolution um pro fix spray i don't know where you can get it from in zambia yeah i'm not really sure my <clears throat> someone got it for me but you can always find something that works best on your skin yeah and then for powder you can bake with sasha buttercup you guys sasha buttercup is the best like it's the plug seriously even if you're dark i'm very dark but i can still get my way through using sasha buttercup you only need you need to know how to blend the product out properly and the right time to use it you don't need to put too much on your face this has lasted me literally like six months and it's still very full and it's very cheap it's only about 60 kwacha or 50 kwacha so hook yourself up with some pressure buttercup and then for the eyebrow gel or eyebrow pomade i use the anastasia anastasia eyebrow gel i feel like it's very good because as i told you for eyebrow pencil i don't like light like really light eyebrow pencil so this one goes so well with every eyebrow pencil i purchase because it's very dark and then the black one also is matte it doesn't like leave shiny whatever it doesn't it doesn't shine and it's very unattractive to see like shiny wing liners drawn or something so yeah um so yeah all these products that i have listed and shown you are just what you need as a beginner you don't really need to go all out as a beginner you really need to start small everyone starts from somewhere everyone starts small but if you start by purchasing you know big big products you just be overwhelmed and you won't know how to use them and you keep them for the longest time up until you get a grip of it so you don't necessarily need expensive products you just need very cheap products i remember when i started doing makeup i only had um one concealer one eyebrow pencil five makeup brushes and yeah one palette and that's enough to get you going and get you doing your everyday makeup so yeah you just have to keep yourself in your bracket sis like just keep yourself there you don't really need all these things but if you're comfortable with it go ahead and buy no like at the, at the end of the day you're going to wash it all off so go ahead and buy try it out if you can afford ain't nobody stopping you just just do it sis just do it so yeah and makeup is a way of expressing yourself however you feel just do whatever you feel like doing for me i'm not even a professional makeup artist i'm not even certified i'm nothing close to that i'm just trying to help you learn what i know and how to go about the processes that i take if you like them so yeah um at the end of the day it's very versatile you can you can remove it so you can do anything you can put gold black red yellow express yourself any way you want it's makeup at the end of the day it will come off sis it's not gonna stay on on your body for a long time nope nah nah so yeah just be the girl and do your thing um work your way through everything and um for eyeliner oh i mean i mean i mean mascara i always use i okay not always because i'm not very specific with mascara i can use anything as long as it's volumizer because for me i mostly wear lashes when i have a face bit on so i don't necessarily even need eye um mascara so i got this avon true 
super shop mac max i don't know if you can see it. it's very good it works well ask any avon agent they'll hook you up with this yeah and then for the liquid eyeliner i just got this at i think three quarter or something it's really good like it helps you draw your wing very well it's not so long it's very short it's matte and yeah it brings out everything so um, another thing that uh, my friend always tells me is that for you to the best makeup you can ever wear is having a good skin so make sure through all these processes you always have a skincare routine i know my skin is not the best because it's going through a lot of things as you can see it's really like I don't, I don't even know how to express myself but yeah always ensure to clean up after you wear your makeup buy a makeup remover buy an exfoliator buy a facial scrub or something just and everything skin to do with skincare you can purchase just to keep your skin looking flawless because at the end of the day it's pointless to wear makeup when your skin is really bad when I'm going through those phases where my skin looks very dead, I, I just stop wearing makeup and people are always like, oh, why is your skin looking like that? Why are you looking like that? Like, just you, I'm trying to work on it. So you all should also try your best to work on your skin. Drink a lot of water, even though I don't like drinking water, I don't know, but drink a lot of water, work your way throughout, through it all. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed like and share yeah